have heard about ChatGPT or Google Bard, but today we are going to talk about something that is changing the finance sector of the world, Bloomberg GPT. Of course, it's an AI model that is launched by Bloomberg for the finance sector especially. The financial world has been driven by data since ages, but in the recent years, the complexity and the sheer volume of data has gone really up, thus making it a need for AI to get involved in the finance sector. On 30th March 2023, Bloomberg released a paper for Bloomberg GPT and introduced it as a 50 billion parameter large language model that is specifically trained for the finance sector. Welcome to AI Banter with Namya and today we are going to talk about the changing of the financial sector with the help of artificial intelligence by introduction of Bloomberg GPT. As we discuss the need of Bloomberg GPT in the world, let me tell you why it is really unique and what's the best thing about it. Guess what? It is not built on top of any other artificial intelligence large language model. It has its own training data and is built from scratch. The Bloomberg team really wanted to be domain specific and thus they made their own training data where approximately some data came from the Bloomberg while some came from web, news, files that are entirely available on the internet. Finance is mostly focused upon data. It includes the timestamps and the stocks of many companies that go up and down and it's about the price, it's about numbers. And thus, Bloomberg GPT is a domain-specific large language model that really helps to improve the natural language processing sentiments of the data. Chat GPT can be used for a general usage purpose, but when we talk about finance, there is a need to understand the numbers and also to be updated in that domain. Now let's talk about what Bloomberg actually is and what it does. Bloomberg provides financial software tools and enterprise applications such as analytics and equity trading platform, data services and news to financial companies and organizations, Bloomberg Terminal being its core revenue tra uh, generating product. More than 325,000 most influential people use Bloomberg Terminal to get information about finance related information in business, policies, government, etc. Every day, 16 million searches are carried out on the Bloomberg search engine that converts the simple English words into natural language processing, detects the sentiment and then gives the information across the Bloomberg terminal. It in the middle getting converted into semantic code and being ranked according to the document score with the help of machine learning. Their natural language processing systems are so strong that they discover and give you the right info after you enter your query in the terminal. And so Bloomberg is a company in its own that has enabled other financial companies to come and explore and also work on top of the Bloomberg Terminal. The two best things that people use Bloomberg Terminal for is speed and accuracy. The speed for finding the query is great and also the accuracy with which it gives its answers has been commendable and thus making people and other financial organizations trust Bloomberg a lot. So now let's talk about Bloomberg GPT that is a 50 billion parameter large language model and has been specifically developed for finance in order to solve problems regarding sentiment analysis, natural language processing, uh, predicting the prices and also giving answers to any of the questions that has been asked by the users. The data set has been combined with the financial data set that consists of approximately 50% with another 50% of the general purpose data set in order to enhance the knowledge uh, of finance as well as general purpose tasks. It has attained a financial benchmark of creating the largest domain specific data set that is related to finance in the world. It includes data from Wikipedia, from PDF files that are available all across the internet. Bloomberg has actually collected and trained 40 years of data. They have been here since four decades and they have utilized it all. 
fin file is what they call as their collection of data set that consists of 363 billion token data set of English financial documents along with 345 billion tokens of the public data set making it an approximately 700 billion token data set. No wonder why it is the largest and the most unique data set that has been used to train the domain specific large language model coming to be known as Bloomberg GPT. Using this, the Bloomberg machine learning research team collaborated with the AI engineers and came up with 50 billion parameter only casual language model. Now you may ask what is casual language modeling? So basically when it is able to predict the next token on the basis of the previous tokens, it is known as casual language modeling. Now we come on to the validation. So how did they validate their Bloomberg GPT uh, large language model? It was done by two types of benchmarks. First was Bloomberg's internal benchmarks that are there. And if the model was able to pass those, the benchmark would be cleared. The second benchmark is the natural language processing benchmark. So there are some kinds of benchmarks that are there to assess your model and to ensure that uh, if that benchmark is passed, then your model would be at a better state of being successful. So Bloomberg GPT was uh, taken through these benchmarks and also there was a comparison done along with the already existing models that were there and their accuracies for different types of tasks was measured and amongst those, Bloomberg GPT came out to be the best in the majority of the tasks. Now let's see what three types of competitors did Bloomberg use to compare their Bloomberg GPT model. First one was the GPT Neo X, second was Opt with 66 billion parameters and the third one was Bloom. Although Bloom has had a large number of parameters but still it was similar to the model that they have constructed and thus they compared it with that also. Now the accuracies were measured across different tasks and they were done in two groups. First was the financial group and the second was the general purpose group. The general purpose group of all four of the models including Bloomberg GPT was exactly the same. So this was all about validation and comparison. Now we come on to the model architecture and see how it was created and uh, what were the specific hardwares that were used in order to run Bloomberg GPT training and validation phase. So it is a general GPT. If you didn't know, GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer and it has 70 layers of decoder only blocks. It works on the attention framework without any recurrence. So Bloomberg GPT is actually a PyTorch model that was trained on AWS with the help of Amazon SageMaker and it used 8 A100 GPUs of NVIDIA along with 64 instances. So 512 GPUs were taken to actually train the model of Bloomberg GPT. Now some qualitative examples for Bloomberg GPT model are number one, suggestion of the news headline. For example, how the US housing market went down being the largest drop in percentage terms of 8% since 2008. So it can give you a new suggestion headline that ranges from four to five words and really accurate. Number two, financial question answering. Next is when we ask, or who is the CEO of XYZ company? Then as compared to other models, which gave the wrong answer, Bloomberg GPT was able to give the correct answer. Third, they were able to develop Bloomberg query language that is specific to the Bloomberg terminal and to Bloomberg GPT. The main goal of Bloomberg GPT is to make the interaction with the financial data more interesting and more understandable. And thus they created Bloomberg query language. So these were some of the qualitative examples of Bloomberg GPT. Now reading comprehension, recognizing the text, multiple choice questions, these all were assessed with the help of Bloomberg GPT and it was really successful in, in answering those questions. Also fraud detection, credit risk management, predictive analysis, the data analytics of the stocks going up and down and predicting how they will react after a certain news and even the technicality of the patterns in the stock market, all of these would be easier with Bloomberg GPT. And thus it forms a really important part of the finance sector and we are really waiting for it to be launched. Bloomberg GPT has come out to be a game changer for the finance sector of the world. With its domain specific training and 50 billion parameters large language model, it has showed 
that how it outperforms other language models that have been already existing in the world as of now. More progress will be attained as they continue to train their models and make it available for the usage of people. And this was all about Bloomberg GPT. I hope you liked this video and gained a lot of knowledge. Uh, this was something new that I considered to do for AI and finance sector. If you want me to do more such kinds of videos, then be sure to subscribe to this channel and let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you. Bye-bye.